This is Sam. He doesn't think of himself as extraordinary. He just tries to be kind. He holds the door open for people. He asks his friends if they're okay when they seem upset. And he includes people who might be feeling left out. What Sam doesn't know is that his kind deeds are quietly transforming his brain, his body, and even the people around him. Let's take a look at what's happening inside Sam's body. When Sam does something kind, his brain releases dopamine. That's the brain's reward chemical. It gives Sam a warm, happy feeling. Scientists call this a helper's high. It's the reason we feel good after doing something kind. Sam's kindness also triggers his brain to release oxytocin, also known as the love hormone. It helps him feel connected and cared for. That oxytocin sets off another helper, nitric oxide, which relaxes and opens up his blood vessels. With blood flowing more easily to and from his heart, his blood pressure goes down and his heart becomes healthier. Oxytocin also helps lower stress chemicals like cortisol and calms inflammation in the body. Those two things, cortisol and inflammation, make our bodies age faster. So while Sam is showing kindness on the outside, inside his body that kindness is actually helping him stay healthier and live longer. Scientists have even found that people who are kind most of the time have much lower stress levels than the average population. And when it comes to friends, kindness helps Sam there too. We naturally feel closer to people who treat us kindly. Scientists believe this goes all the way back to our caveman days, when humans survived by working together and looking out for each other. Kindness is what kept people alive. And today, that same instinct is helping Sam build trust and grow stronger friendships. At the heart of Sam's kindness is empathy. Empathy means trying to understand how someone else is feeling. For instance, if a friend seems a bit off or acts unkindly, Sam takes a moment to pause and think about what they might be feeling and why. This pause helps his brain shift into calm mode so he can see things from their point of view. By trying to understand what someone else might be going through, Sam can respond in a way that's more helpful and kind. And here's the part Sam doesn't see. His kindness is contagious. Research has shown that one kind act can inspire more. It spreads outwards to friends of friends of friends. In the end, Sam's one moment of kindness could reach more than a hundred people. Sam might not think he's extraordinary, but science shows he is. Every kind act reshapes his brain, protects his heart, reduces his stress, slows his aging, and inspires kindness in others. Kindness really is at the heart of a healthier, happier life and a kinder world. What could you do to spread more kindness today?